Hi, this is Confurna Pisa. You know, I've been saying all along that religious beliefs, which are produced in the brain, is a mental disorder. And guess what? The 10th of February of 2010, just, uh, just a, few, a week ago, a few weeks away, neurobiologists, scientists, are beginning to see that. So, guess what? People that believe in God are sick. They have a problem with their brains. Holy surgical side effects. This is being proven now. We create God with our brains and spirituality. So there is no God. It doesn't exist outside the brain. Like I've been saying at nauseam now for like many years. She goes with baby Jesus. I get so mad. You know that everything, every rain drop that and falls that extra. She's doing all that with her brain. People that believe in God simply deluded, especially if they're educated. You're deluded. You, you belong in a mental institution. Christ died for me. Christ died for me. Uh, wow. I, I don't serve a God who died for him. He died for me, Larry, and it's so wonderful. Died for me, Larry, and it's so wonderful. I question this. And Larry King doesn't even bring neurologists to question these people that are completely, completely sick. He had no crisis. See? So he, he has done See? a great job in that area. This Christ psychotic retard to, is from Liberty, so called university. Wonderful son. Does anybody know the damage Jerry Falwell have done to humanity? People, you know, committing suicide and all these uh, homosexuals killing themselves because of this retarded person? This is the problem. Christ psychotics protesting at uh, Bob Jones so-called university. This is the problem with America. Christ psychotics retards like this. There are many universities with people that are completely deluded. They are Christ psychotics, and they believe in all these imaginary friends. And how can they teach reality in a university? Like two plus two equals five, and this is the problem. Marriage will be turned inside out. Idiots. Other evangelical Christians Idiots. warn Idiots. an Obama victory will herald the apocalypse. Yeah, they think he's the Antichrist. Yeah. God said, "You give that lamb." Yeah. To God them. said, "He talked to him." And what a what piece out? of shit! They have the wealth. But uh, more dumb are people God that believe in this nonsense. Always on time. Yeah. God People that believe in this guy it's are retarded. The fairy tale stories. Keep it up, idiot. 50 feet to the elevator. People are psychotic. Very crowded. Totally deluded. Retarded. Out. Stuck he in the 12th century. Me. What a moron. He took me to. People belong to the 12th century. The, the Republican so, brand was damaged before John McCain. Became no, became no you, you, ought, you ought to see a neurologist, retard. Don't get your brain fixed. Don't get your brain fixed. A scholar that is a schizophrenic is a. It goes into mental health clinic. You can take him actually to give a lecture, and he will sound just exactly like this uh, family research council retarded person. Imaginary friends and dumb things like that that cause intolerance. In mainstream everyday life. Oh, oh, worship of it nothing. It's just it's, we create gods and demons with our brains. Sorry, retards. Body of medical evidence suggests that mental illness is the true root of presumed demonic possession. There you go. Like believing Christ and mental illness too. Still believe in the power of the devil. See, they do. They're psychotic. They do. They're psychotic. A couple years ago, an MRI proves it. Proves it. If you believe in God and you have all this demonic possession, you're sick. You're a sick individual. You belong in a mental health clinic. And today we just proved it. You know, scientists, neurobiologists. One such believer is Reverend Brian Connor, a Southern Baptist minister ah! who in 1998 left his position as pastor of his church to devote himself full time to helping the possessed. See? It's a retard. This uh, <laughs> Christophrenic believing is all, all this stuff. He's a no, a neurologist, and he's just with his books, you know, trying to find out the problem. This is the problem. We should put all these people in uh, mental institutions. They can be helped. And now this is happening in Greece. Check this out. That was a colossal task for the Greek state between the wars. Yeah. Mention it. Ever since 1922, Christian and Muslims. The retreat from Turkey has been known in Greece as the catastrophe. It spelled the end of the idea of a greater Greece embracing all Orthodox Christians of the Eastern Mediterranean. Effectively, Christian the nuts. defeat of 1922 brought an end to a, a vision of the world which is summed up by the term the great idea. Yeah, religious beliefs are a psychopathy. It's, it's, it, they cause genocide and intolerance. We don't need them today. Look at Nazism from Christianity. 
this mission than Heinrich Himmler, yeah. the leader of the SS. Very Christian. A man who unhesitatingly employed his deviant imagination in service to the occult. Christian imagination. Christianity is also the occult, retard. Yeah, see, the brain creates all this uh, malfunction and all these ideas and thoughts. When it malfunctions, of course, it can tell between fantasy and reality, creating all these uh, delusions. Demons can influence us. There's such a thing as demons, Pastor retard. Brown traces like we need the to practice prove. of casting out demons back Moron. to Jesus. God, people are nuts. If you read the first account in the Gospel of Mark of an Gospel. exorcism, is when Gospel. Gospel. successful prediction when enhanced his reputation and won him the devoted support of a powerful Nazi already deeply enmeshed in mysticism. Mysticism, Deputy Christianity, Rudolf Hess. There you go, come on and say it. These people were all Christians. They believe in miracles in Jesus Christ and the nonsense. All of them believe the it. The degree to which Christ word can conjure images of animal sacrifice, spirit possession, blood, and black magic. It doesn't like pre-Christianity the same thing. For Identical. Many, prevent evil spirits from interfering. They rub themselves with human ashes from cremation pyres. Not devotion. Of the devotion. Mental illness. Of the people. That this retardation. Think. Psychosis. This river just from here is going all the way. All the pollution is really bad. Ocean. Unhealthy. It's Thanks to religious people. psychosis. Wallows in defeat. See how stupid the thing is? Believe in God is a psychosis, very dangerous. Just two miles to go. The People that believe in God are retarded and deluded. Leaders and leaders of Muslim nations to take action. It sounds from what you're saying. Get rid of all the religion. With some of our viewers out there. That sino que forma parte de la vida cotidiana yeah. y se toma como algo con natural yeah death is very natural in many tribes look at this they dissect the bodies like that it's very normal the part of the living has echoes in many religious yeah, rites that's exactly religious psychosis the for you of jesus on the cross same to thing absorb sins is central to the christian exactly. faith exactly all retarded practices every year in the philippines psychosis but it touches them it is a short but dangerous journey in his way thousands of semi-naked men strive to touch his bare body all in the name of religion, so because religious psychosis. And bloody mess. God origination in the brain, you fool. <laughs> They're all infected already. They're Christ psychosis. Because the priests are in the world. They're retarded. They stack in the 12th century. Be touching a woman. Look at this idiot here. I, I, I don't quite understand. Well, another way of putting that is, could he be defrocked for kissing a woman and touching her on the beach? If he didn't have sexual Idiot. Oh. Sadistic. Sadistic. You're appalled by this so-called dance with death. Yeah. It is a popular spectacle in Mexico. Yeah, sadistic Despite Christians. The, the bull usually loses his life. Almost anything that people tell us, especially authorities and adults, between, you know, it's right or it's wrong, you know, how do you know? Mm. Up to find meaningful patterns. You think if you see the face in the cloud or the face on Mars or... The Virgin Mary and a grilled cheese Psychosis. on the side of a window. Exactly. The patterns are real. It's good Psychosis. To know what the, good to know what those patterns are, and that's called learning. Because a lot of patterns are false. They're superstitious thinking. They aren't real. Skeptics, and my answer is, you shouldn't. You shouldn't believe anybody based on authority or whatever position they might have. You should check it out yourselves. Protection kits are inspired by Carl Sagan's idea that there's a lot of baloney out there, and we need a kit to detect it. That is called science. Exactly. Science exactly. As Michael Shermer of a Skeptic Magazine just said, you know, we are born atheists. We are born with knowing anything. No God. Zero. And then all of a sudden, you know, we're, we accept the, uh, the uh, beliefs of our parents and the society and everything getting our brains infected. If our brains are feeble and uh, they have a problem, then you cannot tell between fantasy and reality. You accept all these deluded, feel good things as reality. And that's God psychosis. Pace di oro.